One of the most important aspects about investing, especially in today's world, is you have to be flexible. Now, it's a great term that people like to utilize, but unless you have the indicators that give you an idea of what it is you need to do and when you need to do it, it's really just talk. We truly are incredibly flexible in regards to the way we allocate our clients' portfolios. That is a true tactical approach. Sometimes things just go wrong. Things can just go wrong with technology stocks, like they did in 2000 through 2002. Things can go wrong with banking stocks, like they did from 2007 through 2009. What will be next? We don't know, but we have to be aware of those trends and understand what the environment is for each of those sectors of the market. We can extrapolate that even further. We can take a look at what's going on internationally. How are emerging markets doing? China is so important to world economic growth. You have to stay on top of that. We do that as well using unemotional, objective, mathematical indicators. You need to rely on objective indicators. We can all listen to CNBC in the morning and hear about the economic statistic du jour. But how do you actually relate that economic statistic to history? We do it with mathematics and statistical probability. A tactical approach is not a buy-hold strategy. It does not rebound to a fixed benchmark. It has the latitude and flexibility to go where the economic evidence leads it. We can literally be over 90% in the market. We could be 90% out of the market. We understand when it's a good time to make money and when it's a good time to take risk off the table. We make decisions about your portfolios every single day. And perhaps most importantly, we use history as our guide. We need to understand what happened before so that we can understand what's going to happen next. You have to understand those risks that are around you, known and unknown. You have to understand how much liquidity is available should things start to go bad when things are getting too frothy, a little too hot, maybe overextended. People are becoming a little too overly optimistic. Being risk averse means keeping your profits, keeping your money in your pockets. Siegel's paradox is something that most investors aren't aware of. But if your stock portfolio goes down by 10%, it only needs to grow by 11% to get back to even. If your stock portfolio goes down 50%, your portfolio has to grow 100% to get back to even. Most investors just don't have time to recover from a 30, 40, or 50% decline in their portfolios. They must be avoided at all costs. If you take a look at the math behind declines, avoiding declines is the number one way to make money over time. When you retire, you might be the luckiest person in the world, and the next year, the markets go up by 30%. Or you might have a rougher time. You retire, and the markets go down by 30%. How do you know which way the market's going to go? What you have to do is identify risk. How much risk is in the market? The more risk, the less exposure you want to have to equities. And there's a way to quantitatively interpret what's going on around you. Especially when you take into account the past 13 years when we've had two devastating declines. Having the flexibility to be able to move the allocation of equities to bonds, to stocks, to cash, absolutely key in regards to making sure that you can endure all economic environments. You have to know where the impetus is for the next bull market. You also have to know where the risks are that could ignite the next bear market.